Thank you, Estefania. Two different communities from the borderland came together to help bring a new playground to children of the Armed Services YMCA. KTSM 9 News reporter Selena Quintana is live in the Northeast with more. I am tired. Yes, that's right. The, it was the grand opening of this playground, and caregivers here no longer have to worry about safety concerns when it comes to having their children play outside. The previous playground was over 20 years old and filled with sand and rocks that caused concern for the ASYMCA, but with the help from some businesses like HB Construction, they were able to get toys, equipment, and everything they needed donated to get this up and to get this up and date up to date for the area for where children could play. Joe Pritchard, the executive director of ASYMCA, with, said without this, there would no, be no way to bring Fort Bliss and El Paso together as one. They completely reconstructed this thing, and they purchased the playground equipment, all the toys for the kids, the paint, the equipment, supplies, and all of the landscaping that goes around uh, our facility as well. So it was much more than, than just the playground itself that they did. They really wanted to show their strong partnership to the community and their support. He also mentioned they are excited that they were able to get this project finished before the start of spring, just in time for the great weather. Now, it's not just this playground that the community can enjoy. The ASYMCA will be offering some meals to, and dinner to families throughout the year. Reporting live in e Northeast El Paso, Selena Quintana, KTSM 9 News. All right, very nice. Thank you very much.